December 10, 2023. So in this products video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Beyblade X BX18 String Launcher. No other way. There we go, now we can see the text clear. Beyblade X String Launcher. Now in case you did not watch the Bay launch a video. Got this from Everwitch, hence the Mani Hong Kong stickers. Now there are no characters on this, I, at least I do not think so, so if I were to peel this, nothing would be revealed except more text. Now I know... The nails are a bit shorter than usual, so, you know, I think I'm just ripping it. Forget it. No point. Hmm, now do I want to preserve this or do I not? Actually, no, this is not a box, so no. Well, actually, if there's a QR code, I probably should actually preserve. Now, unlike the launcher, actually, did I throw my launcher package? No, I, I, I did not. So, you know, the, yes, let me keep it because I'm hearing a word that it might open, like the application will open to other parts of Asia January 2020. I do not know how true that is, but if that is the case, then it would actually be worth trying to preserve this. Now, I believe this is covered with tape and yeah, it's gonna be a challenge to get into. So can I do this or can I not? Mm, yeah, this is gonna, going to be very, very hard. Well, actually, no, you know what? I should at least first by start by skipping into the side here. Yes, that'll go away. Because there's metal there, why is it so hard to get into? Right, because of the staple, that's why. So it's essentially, it was like I was almost trying to cut the staple. <laughs> Yikes. So that is that. So at least this part is preserved. I said the plastic. Well, I need not preserve the plastic. Oh. I've almost cut myself with that. Yikes. The staples I can do with off camera. We just want to see this. Now I know I already have a blue one. And yes, I'm, I will bring him into the frame so we can do a color comparison. So that is the black one. And here is my blue one. So not the easiest thing to take off. Eh, yeah, whatever, I'll just have to do the comparison with the string launcher on. Which do you like better? If you ask me, obviously blue. I think everybody's going to say blue. If you would say black, do comment and let me know because I am very curious to know who would actually say black. Well, actually, it should not be that surprising. Some people just absolutely love black. And there's a fair bit of people like that. But for me, definitely blue because as you know, blue, red, and green are my favorite colors of all time. So, yes. Oh, wait, I need to take this off. So, yes, the launcher is ready to go now. Get rid of this plastic. There's a red one coming in 17 days from now. I will not have it obviously in 17 days because I have to import it because I live in Canada, North America. So, we are not getting Beyblade Extreme until autumn 2024 and even then i made my voice very clear i am not touching no hasbro baby products so i am purely takada tomi still throughout all the generations for bakuten shoot metal fight burst and now baby the extreme purely takada tomi here right now on with the stadiums standard first well actually before i even pull out the stadium i want to attach this 
So, okay, what I need to realize is that with new slide, slide like this, there's a lot going to do this, and then if I to pull it back. So, you know, now you think about it, if I really wanted to separate that blue one, that's all I had to do, you know? So, you know what, yeah, I'm going to actually do that. I don't know if maybe like, really, man, really? Well, yeah, the video is titled String Launch for a reason. The mini is supposed to be just focused on visually looking at them. Of course, I will obviously test them, but there. And that is so much more satisfying to be able to just see them both. You know, maybe I, should, I wonder if I should actually make this a thumbnail. Where I just lay them on the desk. I just take the picture. Oh, it's going to be super cool too if I had a red one. Oh. I would hope they do a green one. Because if they did do a green one, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Now I'm torn now. Do I want to make this a thumbnail or do I want to stick with the package? Actually, I'll probably just stick with the package. As cool as this looks. Yeah, I do not want to make it look as though I just unboxed this. So, you know, actually, I'm not going to do that. And box that one way away a win ago. So, so I'm with the standard stadium, the dynamite, and then I'll do extreme. So I have my opponents I want to test. Just lined up properly. Okay. Yeah, I know, I've actually done that off camera, but whatever. Taking them out on camera is not going to make anybody drop dead. At least I would hope not. So this is purely going to be stamina because Viper is like absolutely still in the center. Was not quite expecting that to happen. I was expecting there to be a little bit more contact, but it happens. Especially in these burst stadiums. Yeah, I think Viper is going to take this one. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. to Viper. Next stadium.
okay, so it seems like the battle is always going to end like that, where they're just going to immediately throw somebody out. Hmm. This is interesting. Who have I not tried yet? Uh, I do not think I've done a hell scythe with Leon Claw and uh, who else? And Viper. Or have I? You know, I do not know. I'll just try them again, anyways. That was quite the bang. Whoa. Oh, seriously, that was quite a loud bang. So now, this looks like it's going to be one of those round and round battles. Where Viper is going to be perfectly still. And Hales is just going to be going round and round and round like... I don't know what to say. Who will win? For some reason, I kind of think Viper will win, to be honest. If Hells ends up winning, then that would be rather interesting. Kind of strange. And yeah, he ends up winning. You would think that Viper would have taken that, right? With all that stamina that he had, but this guy ends up taking it. So now for the Extreme Stadium. Actually, before we move on to the Extreme Stadium, I told myself that I wanted to weigh these parts, so allow me to do that. Now, I did not weigh this one in the video where I'd done a small unboxing to this product, but I'll weigh this in this one anyways. 44. That's very weird because I just weighed this guy off camera and he also says 44. So you're telling me that this thing weighs as much as him? What? Yeah, weird. And for the string launcher. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. 64 grams. 
and combined. One hundred five grams, no, one hundred seven. Forty two. All right, that's all for the weighing for now. Put this off to the side and I'll weigh some more things later. But right now, we just want to see those extreme battles. So, extreme battles will be delivered. Why does he always lose? LOL. Just taking the manga. Whenever he goes against Quizzier, why is he always losing? Well, I mean, he only fought against Maluchi once, but let's just say in reality, it's looking like he's always losing, which is. Oh, never mind. As soon as I talk about him losing, then he throws Wizard into the pocket. He's like, no, I am not letting her win multiple times against me. the string like this so you can actually see it more yeah I should do that I should seriously do that because what good is it to use a string launch if you're going like this and you're barely seeing it that is not fun right no so let me try and keep that in mind so we can actually see the string I'll be careful because I don't want to slam into my lamp but at the same time we do need to see that string Go like this too. Yeah, that works too. It's a lot more convenient than going like this and slamming into the lamp. Oh, that was way too damn chaotic. Vibrating way too damn hard. Pinch it a little bit closer. There. Yeah, we don't want the vibrations to be that crazy. Because that will not look very good in editing time. I've seen what that looks like and it it can look epic sometimes, but you do not want to be seeing that all the time. Because that gets tiring real fast. And so does me constantly dropping them off the line.
too sure you love me with the extreme line. My goodness, man, the vibrations. So damn intense. Why you two love your extreme line, man? You know, I'm launching this way too damn awkwardly, so I need to launch him better than this. There we go. Yeah, that's the proper battle we wanted to see. And he got busted. Ouch. Congratulations, I mean, the first David to burst in this video. Not because my hands are kind of weird, I can't really tighten them too well. Gosh darn it. Actually, no, I, I was able to tighten him. He just had to take his bit off. So we good. Well, what is not good is that lamp up there getting dark, so... Yikes. Who else? Who else? Who else should I do? There's a lot of X players I have that I could have just easily tossed into this, so... Hmm. Gotcha, I'm going to do him. And, uh... John Sword, I guess. Okay, I should not have done that because that actually ruined the fight, but eh, whatever. That has been it for this video and the string launcher. Be sure to check my other videos. And now, I am out.